so you could have allowed your Power BI report end users to type and save text into a Power BI report since 2016. That's right. You've been able to let your users enter and save data into a Power BI dataset on their own without a re report refresh since 2016. Don't believe me or think there's a catch? Well, there kind of is, but let's take a look at the report first. So here we are on my computer. As you can see, I have a table of data right here, and then I have a power app with an input field right here. If I go in and type in hello viewers, and then click add to list, and then simply refresh the report right here, as you can notice, my hello viewers text is now added in this table. Don't believe me or don't believe that was real time? Well, let me type in Bob is my uncle, and then click add to list right here, refresh the report, and there you go, it's added in. It's that simple. So how am I doing this? Well, you see this Power BI report is built on top of a special type of data set. It's called a push data set. And here's the catch. These data sets are being discontinued in favor of Microsoft Fabric in 2027. But for now, if you have a use case, you can use them. So let's take a look at how you can build your own push data set and talk a little bit more about what they are. So a push data set is a type of data set meant for real time in business intelligence. And the reason why they're going away in 2027 is because Microsoft is retiring their real time data set feature. What they are though is a data set where you def define a schema and then you can essentially use an API to post data to them. So here I am in Fabric, but you could do this in any tool, essentially creating a push data set in this workspace. So I'm defining the, the semantic model as test push data set. My default mode is gonna be push. Then I'm defining a table, uh, essentially a table name, and then various columns for my table. And then finally, I am posting this as my JSON payload, okay? Then you can add data to this table by essentially posting to the same data set the different rows that you want. So for example, if I were to post my viewers are the best right here and run this, you will see that pop up in that uh, Power BI data set when I go ahead and I refresh it. So here's that data set while that's running. If I refresh this, you can see hello viewers is still loading. Let's see if that notebook is finished refreshing. Oop, do, do, do. Let's leave that. And let's go ahead and let's give this a refresh one more time. And there you go. As you can see, it's added it. So what this Power App is essentially doing is it's just taking an input file or a simple input. It's then adding the value that's in this text box to the list using Power Automate. Then all this Power App is, is a simple Canvas app that if I go in and edit, and here I am in my Power Apps trial, you'll see is just taking a text input and then, uh, essentially inputting in a Power Automate flow. So here's the Power Automate flow that's calling that API. Here's the text input. And then when this button is clicked on select, it's essentially running with the input text from this text box. So if we go in and we look at test on this Power App or on this Power Automate flow, so if I click edit, you'll see it's a really simple Power Automate flow that's essentially being called from our apps, and then is just adding rows to our push data set. And that's it. So this is pretty cool tech. Unfortunately, it's going away in favor of Microsoft Fabric. So if you watch this video and you got super excited, you can use them until October of 2027. And Microsoft has shown video demos of a different input essentially function at a few of their uh, conferences. So I know there were a bunch of screenshots that were going around LinkedIn at one point. 
So if you didn't know what a Power BI push data set was, please consider subscribing and liking this video because I make videos on topics like this, mainly revolving around Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, SQL, or Python pretty regularly. And I love to have you here and help you on your Power BI or business intelligence journey. And with that, I hope you have a good day.